Hey YouTube, Scareshed9 uh, back again. Um, just did a previous review of this Army Tech X4. Um, it's like cock up on that because I didn't uh, mention to you how you actually charge the thing. So let's have a bit of a closer look then, shall we? So a little 10 180 battery. It's a tiny little wee thing. Problem with this is that it's only uh, 90 milliamp hours. It's a, a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. Um, the problem with that is there's basically no charges around that you can sort of commercially can buy um, that will work because the charge rate's too high and also it's so tiny uh, it's not going to fit into any charges. So luckily enough, Army Tech have uh, sorry <laughs> Army Tech Mech Army. It have um, included a USB charger. Okay, so what we have to do here is screw the head off. Bearing in mind being careful with these ones because there is a bit of a known habit of eating these O rings. I've got lots of um, Neo Gel grease on there to give it a um, bit of a smooth on and off. Okay, the board down in there. So concealed there is USB charger. So what you need to do to take any sort of standard mini USB lead. Let's see if we can get it around the right way here. Working from behind the camera. Get it upside down. It was the first time I used it. it was a little bit hard to get that in. Put it in there. Yep. Okay. Let's check. Let's turn it on. Nope. That's not in probably. We rounds that there. There we go, upside down. Okay, and you can probably just make out there, it's a little red charging light comes on. Alright, so basically around about an hour from fully depleted, and that will turn green, and you're uh, ready to go. So it's quite a handy system. Um, haven't yet thrown the multimeter on the old battery to find out uh, what the termination voltage is, whether, whether that's um, within the norms. Um, but really, it's such a small cell, um, the likelihood of it blowing up and taking your ear off or something like that is probably pretty low. Um, it's more like to blow your fingernail off at that size. Um, but really handy, so pretty much anywhere you've got your um, phone charger. I mean the old USB charging now is pretty prolific for a lot of things, so it's not going to be a um, shortage of cables around. Uh, so that makes it a lot easier to charge. And what I did when I brought this, I actually got a couple of extra um, batteries because um, quite hard one to get hold of. It's not readily available one. And give you an idea here, this is a um, like a one of those coin vaults. And you put your notes in and your keyring, and I could probably get at least get two, probably get two of these um, TM180 cells in there. Okay, not sure what the um, quality of these things are, it's very hard to tell, it's probably a very um, low quality, I don't think anybody that's a um, prominent maker probably manufactures these to any great quantity, so I doubt if there's any Panasonic cells out there, I haven't seen anything like that, or any AWs, anything like that, so, um, hence I've got a few more just in case, because you never know, there might be a bit of a dubious quality when they came with it, alright. And just to give you a quick idea, this is the Phoenix um, E15, which is a CR123 battery model. Okay, so let's have a look at, <laughs> give you an idea if you know what a CR, oh, she's on tight today. There you go. Okay, come off. No, nope. it's not going to do the job, that one. Um, can't get it off there. But yeah, I mean, give you an idea. This, this light is probably the same size as a CR123 battery. So it is micro. All right. Um, yeah. So yeah, haven't done a runtime test on that yet. Uh, we'll get around to it and give you an idea. Um, I think I said in the previous uh, review that it will run for 30 hours on high. Mm -mm. No, 30 minutes on high. Um, tiny little wee battery, 130 lumens. Yeah, it's not going to run for a long time. But really, it's designed to go in your keyring, and when you want a little bit of a burst of extra light, and obviously, obviously to show off for something that small, um, it'll do it fine. Probably going to be using the, the low setting a lot more. It's going to be a hell of a lot more useful for that. And then the dark, you know, when you're completely uh, sort of dark environment, plenty of light, plenty of light to find your way around. 
All right, so um, that should clarify a few uh, muck-ups there and give you a bit of idea how it charges, um, and also the battery. Cheers, guys. Thank you.